Uh, my name is P.K. Basu. I'm the author of a book called Asia Reborn, the first comprehensive economic and political history of the whole of Asia. And uh, my question is this. Why is it that during the years that your family ruled India, India's per capita income was growing less than the world average. And yet, in the years since your family relinquished the prime ministership of India, India's per capita income has grown substantially faster than the world average. That I'm a great admirer of your great grandfather Jawaharlal Nehru, and I think all the all the good things that, that, that whatever India is, is is today is because of the of the Indian Congress Party. And if you look at the Constitution of India, your party has very successfully um, put in the values of the Congress Party into the con Constitution you, you are, of India. You're, you're both going to extremes, right? <laughs> I mean, give me give me something in the middle, <laughs> sir, 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 Mr. Gandhi. Whoa, whoa. I mean, he's saying he's saying. I'm the cause of every single problem. Yeah. And you're saying, I'm the cause of every single solution. I mean, <laughs> this is crazy. This conversation, right, shows you the polarization. It does. That gentleman thinks that nothing has ever been done by the Congress Party. This gentleman thinks that everything has been done by the Congress Party. Let me tell you what the truth is. India's success is hugely because of India's people. However, however, anybody in this room who thinks that the Congress party is not part of that uh, success, anybody who thinks that gaining independence was not part of that success, that one man, one vote, which the RSS opposed was not part of that success. Anybody that thinks Green Revolution was not part of that success, anybody thinks Telecom's revolution was not part of that success, anybody that thinks the liberalization wasn't part of the success, anybody that thinks rights-based paradigm wasn't part of the success needs to write a new book. And look, I, I, just wanna, I just wanna complete that. And look, I, I'm a person who has been taught to love my opponents, love people who might dislike me. So I have absolutely no animosity towards somebody who says, I have achieved nothing. I even respect your opinion to be able to say that in this, in this room. I respect it. I differ with it. I will contest it. If you come and have a serious conversation with me, I might even be able to convince you. Or not. <laughs> and, and I'm happy to do that. I'm happy, I'm proud. I'm proud to sit in a room. I'm proud to sit in a room and have a gentleman say this to me. Now you notice something else. Mr. Narendra Modi would never do that. You, you would never, you would never have the ability to say what you said to me in front of Mr. Narendra Modi. And I, and I am absolutely blazingly proud of that. So after this meeting, I want to give you a hug. And I want to tell you, I want to tell you that you are very important to me. Because you represent an opinion. And I respect that opinion.